We began in the United States where special counsel Jack Smith has asked two courts to dismiss federal criminal cases against president-elect Donald Trump. Smith acknowledged that the Justice Department's policy prohibits prosecutions against a sitting U.S. president. The first case accused president-elect of plotting to overturn the 2020 election outcome after President Joe Biden's victory, which resulted in the attack on the U.S. Capitol by MAGA supporters. The second case alleged that Donald Trump illegally retained classified documents when he left the White House in 2021. Now, District Judge Tanya Shuckin has put an end to the federal effort to hold Donald Trump responsible for overturning his 2020 defeat. Meanwhile, the decision in the documents case is still pending. Smith and his court filings recognize the legal shield that surrounds the commander in chief, even if he is criminally culpable. Donald Trump, who will again oversee the Justice Department as president, was expected to end the cases if reelected to office. Trump's return to the White House sets at odds two fundamental and compelling national interests. On the one hand, the Constitution's requirement that the president must not be unduly encumbered in fulfilling his weighty responsibilities, and on the other hand, the nation's commitment to the rule of law. In this situation, the Constitution requires that this case be dismissed before the defendant is inaugurated. Now, in a, in a social media post, the president-elect said that the two cases were empty and lawless and should have never been brought. Earlier, Donald Trump accused the Biden administration of weaponizing the Justice Department and called his judicial proceedings a political witch hunt. I want to address the appalling announcement today by the egregiously corrupt Biden administration and their weaponized Department of Justice. Would you like me to talk about that, Larry? Would you like me to talk about that? This horrendous abuse of power is the latest in a long series of witch hunts. It started a long time ago. I thought the investigation with the document hoax was dying or dead or over. Now, Donald Trump faced two other state prosecutions while running for a second term. One of them involved hush money payments to a porn star, Stormy Daniels, which resulted in a conviction on charges of falsifying business records. With the conviction in New York, Donald Trump made history by becoming the first former U.S. president to be found guilty of a crime. However, the sentencing in the hush money case has been postponed indefinitely as the president-elect's lawyers argue the verdict would interfere with his transition and presidential duties. The other case in Georgia also accuses Donald Trump of taking part in a scheme to overturn the 2020 election result illegally. However, the trial now seems unlikely. With all the criminal cases against Donald Trump ending or delayed, one thing is clear when it comes to the president and criminal charges, the commander in chief, at least in this case, Donald Trump does seem to be above the law.